Hi Sagis, welcome to my channel. We're doing your daily no one this back. Check our site right now. It's if you love the me. Good morning, America. Oh no, this is not the dailies. This is the bi-weekly. It's gonna be from today. Um, when you watch this, okay, I'm not sure when my producer is gonna upload this as you know, it's the company so big, okay? So it's gonna be from today until the 30th. Okay, so when you watch this, okay. Let's see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see. Oh, by the way, in the pre-shuffle, there was the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. So someone can be coming back to you. Your soulmate is coming back to you. Whoever you want to come back from outer space, then they might be back. Mm-hmm. Let me sip some coffee over there. How are you, Sag? Uh-uh-uh. Let's see, though. Let's see. Sagis, here we go. So the end of the month, we have here the King of Swords. You can be connecting with an Aquarian, Sag, or you are an Aquarian itself. I mean, in your um, rising. Um, I see here that this person has already spoken of the truth. They told you something. This is a communication that recently happened, and they are very um, steadfast with it. It's just like, this is where I stand. And it's not being about cold. It's just about... It's not been being about Frank. It wasn't even cold. It's interesting. It's just like a communication that came out, you know, the outcome is very truthful and very much just like it has released a lot of tension from you. Okay, or the other person. Well, you know, it's like the truth always sets us free. So that's what has happened here. You are free or they are free from something that they probably were thinking. Um, you know, like someone who almost jump into conclusion over here. Let me see the other person. Ah! Mm-hmm. Got a... Yeah! Got twins. You got a king of cups and the will of fortune, Sagis. I'm happy that I'm a Sag today. <laughs> Just dying. <laughs> will of fortune with the king of cups. Um, it can be a Scorpio. What's it going to say also? It's like someone was obsessing. Um, the other person can be a water sign. Cancer by a Scorpio, of course, but it's a Scorpio. It's a Scorpio rising. Okay. Can be. Um, they expect things to turn around in their favor. This is a uh, faith. Someone here is um, keeping their faith with regards to love. So this is this person's energy. Okay, this one. I'm just inviting you here. So this is this person's energy to keep their faith in love. That things are going to move forward to completion. This is also Jupiter in Scorpio, which, um, you know, very specific right now. Okay, so transit is coming in Vedic's idea. It's about to enter Scorpio. You could be a Sa uh, Scorpio Sag also, expecting to go, um, um, expect for things. There you go. To go in your pot in the positive side. You have here the Hierophant. So this energy is about relationship. This is going for the better now. This can be a same sex uh, scenario where you know two masculine or two feminine, regardless of the gender. Taurus energy here. Um, you have here someone who works for the government who is in a high position at the same time. If they don't work for a government, this is a teacher who's well studied. Um, there's a guru in your life also, Sag, or you are a guru to theirs. Um, with the Hierophant also, this is someone who is a little bit, uh, you know, structured in their ways. This person follows a certain schedule every day. They wake up, they do this, they do that, da -da 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 -da. and then uh, the other person over here. Expecting the I have to balance the energy here. Okay, so expecting the communication from this side Okay Expect a communication also. This is two people communicating that right now about how is how to establish the relationship How it's gonna move forward and the other person is this is a purva um, Purva Ashada okay, Nakshatra so that can be used. That's a Sag Nakshatra Okay I'm not sure which uh, degrees but this is a uh, this is someone who's been waiting for things to happen. Jupiter enters here. This is more of an energy of how the transit is gonna move. It's very auspicious time here. I will do a time prediction after this, the extended, because I see the time when it's happening over here. Okay. So what you've been waiting for is coming towards you. A very particular transit is coming. To be connecting. Oh, uh -huh. two. That's jumpy cards. See, I told you, a six of cups and a five of swords. 
Mm. Someone's coming back. After the retrograde, majority of the retrograde, Saturn went direct. September 6th, representing also Six of Cups. Five of Swords is always a retrograde for me. It was a retrograde planet. Um, it was in, It is in your zodiac also, Sag, because remember, in Vedic's ideal, it entered January. So things has been difficult for you during this. Not, well, kind of difficult. It's still going to be is. You know, it's a lot of challenges. Um, but I don't want to, you know, butcher the energy of being difficult, difficult. Um, everybody's life is difficult, you know. It's just so happened yours is a little bit more this time. Mm -hmm. So someone is coming back to you now after Saturn also went direct. And there's a fluid energy that's going to come towards this. You have your Seven of Wands with the Knight of Swords. Restriction from communication also. You restricted yourself to communicate with this person. So there's a person here who restricted their communication. Come back. Don't get lost. So this person's energy over here has been waiting, has stopped communicating. They're just waiting for um, faith to come together. Other person wants to come back to your life over here in a relationship to a union. This can be your past lover or a new person who is your soulmate who wants to be with you and only after Saturn went direct because you know Saturn rules karma and karma related to Rahu. Rahu is karma and that is your soul contract at the same time here. Your North Node, South Node. It is now bringing brought to your attention to come either to come together to be in a union because the Hierophant is here. It's very auspicious because this is Jupiter. You know, it's like it gives you in that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell you guys what what is Jupiter is doing here, okay? So, thank you very much, um, Sagis, for watching. This is um, the the last two weeks of your September. I wish you guys well. Do check us out at e3love.me. And you can just can check. I believe this is a soulmate one. This is a rose quartz. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye, Sagis. Lemon, apple, or cherry. Love and good.